like a newest is my rental house at the moment and yeah that was one of those vlogs where I kind of I never had an agenda I kind of just went with the flow but they just the, the flow just this was just wasn't there but the main reason why is because I was anxious I have anxiety people yeah I have anxiety and it affects a lot of us and I think one of the main reasons why is because I know that there's a lot of building work going on the opposite land of where I am and there's just a lot of tension between the kind of the locals and the people there and I was just in between it and so on and stuff a lot of police have been called and dog bites and dog attacks and all that kind of stuff it's kind of crazy so I kind of just felt like I don't know it's just it just felt it was a strange plus I was moving and all sorts of stuff it's a combination of things I don't have to explain myself but put it this way yeah I was anxious and I don't like to use the word like suffer suffering it kind of makes it seem worse than it actually is I kind of I just say that I have anxiety because at the end of the day like it doesn't go away when you suffer I'm suffering with a cold or a flu it's not there forever it's gone isn't it whereas with anxiety it's always there but you just manage to cope with it yeah 15 years 15 years this is the same length of me giving gardening really and by gosh I tell you now I don't know where I'd be without gardening in my life or being outside working working on my tan and overdosing in vitamin d yeah it's mad mate i, I was so anxious at one point i could even pick up the house phone or even answer the door when people someone knocked on the door honestly that's how bad it got like to the point where i'd ring and be like oh my god i can't answer the phone mad times but on a different note i know 2020 has opened a lot of people's eyes to gardening and growing vegetables and going to grow on your own and just being trying to be a bit more kind of sustainable and so on and stuff like that and my deep honestly my deepest in condolences to anyone who's lost anyone to covid this year because i def i know someone who i mean i know a family friend who passed away with it because he was ill at the time but covid just took him over the edge kind of thing so peace and hugs to those people but yeah i said again it was 2020 was a bitch of a year but at the same time in the permaculture way you don't really kind of focus on the cons you see the pros in this situation here so and yeah it's just the fact that every like gardening and growing your own vegetables have been like it's off the charts now everyone's gonna think like oh i could do this we're all green fingered i've, I've said it before and when a couple of vlogs back because anyone can grow anything anything i'm saying oh, i can't grow you yes you can you can it's as easy as that it's very easy it's like I mean, I didn't know nothing when I first started gardening. I was just plodding along. My old boss, I'm not going to give his name, but he knows who you are. And with his trailer, he loves a trailer. But well, if you're watching this, I've got a trailer now. <laughs> but yeah, I swore to myself, I never want to put bags of manure in my van again and have it smell like a flipping horse's ass for God knows how long. Wet horse poo in the van with wood underneath. Ah, scented for days, people. But I'm drifting off here. I can't remember what I'm talking about. That's it. Gardening. So it's, it's a great it's a great thing, honestly, being outdoors and being in the fresh air, being in nature. I know some people don't have gardenings and maybe watching this, but at the same time, you've got commons, you can go and go. I mean, there's, there's so many places just to immerse yourself, little woodlands. That's what I, here is, I find a struggle. Like, not really a struggle, but I'm so used to just seeing loads of trees and having trees around me and stuff and so on. But there's little places, that's, that's where I want to plant some trees. But anyways, I'm drifting off here. So without further ado, here are some of my highlights of 2020. Are you looking at my ass? We get that lockdown, there's lockdown, breakfast lockdown, lunch lockdown, brunch lockdown, snacks, lockdown, dinner, and then lockdown, whatever the left, whatever you, if you're awake, you can eat. You're a wriggly worm. Are you a worm? No. What are you then? Seed You who? What's your name?
highlights of 2020. I know I could have squeezed a lot more in there. It was a mad year. I've made, I've, I got crazy with the vlogging and stuff. I enjoyed it. I'm starting to enjoy it again because I'm sure you YouTube, YouTube creators can understand like or can relate is that you go through on the ups and downs and stuff when you when you start making vlogs. You're a bit like, plus life gets in the way. I moved house. I moved house. I moved, uh, I moved so many things. Not even just up the road. I moved all the way to bloody Scotland. So you can you can understand how the kind of craziness of moving and so on can kind of take on one's one's mind and body dude but things i've learned this year is that manure is not just a mulch honestly like i've i've used manure just putting on top of beds for like for years in my gardening in my gardening like just in gardening and then one day i was just like you know what i've got I, I mean, because soil is quite expensive when you want to buy bulk and i was trying to grow stuff in a short period of time so i thought why don't i just use this massive pile of horse poo from horse poo land as cedar called it so yeah i did and I started to use it and plants grew up from it. I know I had world clay anyway, but I've been sheet mulching before. But that's another thing I, I, know, I found out is that sheet mulching is the tit. Honestly, I had world clay in that old piece of land there. I started off with cardboard, then I put some wood chip, let that rot down for how many years. Then it grew into a meadow because there was a lot of weed seeds in there. That subsided. Then I put some hard hardcore, put some cardboard, then I put some horse poo, then I put some hay, then I put some horse poo on top of that. And oh my God, the plants grew so well in that. Honestly, it's just, it, it, make sure you, if you're, if you're, if you're worried about horse poo, because I know there's a bad batch of horse poo going around last year. I don't know why these people rush. I don't know, you should, I don't know why composting and making soil and stuff should be rushed anyway, but I'll explain more about that another day. But yeah, if you want to know more about horse poo, click the top right of the screen, because I'll tell you why sometimes it's good to kind of stay clear of horse poo and, and try and go organic, because organic is the best way, honestly, organic people you can't get away from dewormers but like i said the the videos explain and another thing is yeah rewilding like having your patch that just wild just 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 having wild just just wild like letting not like crazy wild so you can't cope but at the same time just have some patches where nature will just can come in and do because put it this way my patch i was basically rewilding before i started kind of um um growing stuff for five years they're trying to like put in a meadow and like creature hotels unintentional creature hotels like an owl um owl hotel with an owl house owl box there you go and the matter of life that came in i had a thrush nearby so you get with slugs and I mean the snails and so on i had like um, bonking beetles i had like all different types of beetles running around the place and yeah I, and the aphids and the ladybirds i had i I've lost count now how many ladybirds i saw at the land Go on, my son, get in, get in. And I never had like one pest problem when it comes to growing anything because I had that amount of kind of, I had more wild patches than I had actually maintained patches for myself to grow stuff. So it just goes to show that if you have a nice biodiversity of creatures, your pest levels and annoyances will be kind of next to nothing pretty much. And I, if I'm honest, there's one pest I couldn't get rid of and that was like mice. So, in my mind, I needed more snakes. That's a permaculture solution. And there's so many flipping, um, what you call it? I did have snakes, though, people. I did have snakes. That's why I can have, I, if you look at, if you want to, in fact, if you want to know about creature hotels, click the top right of the screen and you will kind of find out more about kind of creature hotels and unintentional creature hotels and stuff like that. And you might even get to see my bum, if you're lucky. If you watch it, if you watch it that long enough. So, um, but yeah, but what I would have done, it's only, only ate my strawberries. So what I would have done is kind of cage my strawberries just in the future or just get like a a cap for the croft because coco still hasn't left the house she's over there sleeping and my last lesson my last lesson my last lesson is that but it's um, to be honest with you, it's taken a while for me to kind of be very open about my anxieties maybe in the last couple of three or four years but that because it's almost it's, it's big taboo in this country isn't it it's a taboo i'm sure it's taboo everywhere like it's just, it's a weird one. Like you fall down, you break your leg. People want to come up and sign your cast. Whereas if you kind of you got like kind of your head problems and you're a bit like ugh, a bit uncomfortable, people don't know what to do with themselves. They just feel like oh you should do this, or they're trying to kind of they're like oh it's just get out. It's just it's not as easy as that. Like just listening sometimes to what people have to say is kind of is a good thing. But and if you, if you're anyone out there who kind of feels the same way is struggling right now. 
DM me. I'm happy to kind of talk to you and so on. Write in the comments. And like I'm sure I'm on Instagram. It's another thing. If you want to talk to me on that level and not people see your comments and so on. I'm on Instagram. My Instagram account is our green agenda. Same as this name here. And happy to talk via that. And give us a follow then if you want to see more daily antics. And I'm, I'm quite wild on there. If you, know. <laughs> I like to have a sing and a dance on there. Try and keep 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 the spirits high. Put it that way. But like I said, anxiety will slow me down at times, but at the same time, it will never, ever stop me. And the thing is, like, I mean, I'm not going to sit down and dwell in the past and cry and be like, why me? I've done that. Don't, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, if it wasn't for my anxieties, I wouldn't be here to this day. I wouldn't be doing this stuff. I wouldn't be gardening. I wouldn't have done, you mean, I wouldn't have got my business. I wouldn't have pushed myself to the point where now I'm in a position where I'm building a house. And another thing, I never so plug this too much, but... I don't, I've got a picture of her, but I should have taken a picture when she was all dressed up. But I took a picture of her when she wasn't dressed up and I promised her I wouldn't spread it. But I used to do Kylie Minogue's garden too. So that's what I'm saying about pushing yourself to a certain point. So that's in my, my highlight of my gardening career. I've done a garden. So I'm, you know, I'm bigging up myself here, but it's, it's okay to do it from time to time, isn't it? Love yourself. I don't love, you know, I love parts of myself. I know I like, like my little toe, but hey. <laughs> But anyways, people, if you got this far and if you're new here, consider subscribing because next vlog will be about the chunk. They can't know the system actually. It snowed. It snowed the other day, so you'll see that. And then I'll start talking about my chicken system. And I got only. I mean, I got lots of funny stuff coming up. I'm moving house. Another surprise too. I'm moving sooner than you think. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, peace and hugs, people. Love you long time. Honestly, I mean it. Thank you very much. Because if you, and another thing about subscribing, it helps this little kind of little channels grow and so and so on and stuff. So. Yeah, love you long time, people.